Hello. Uh, this will probably be just for posterity's sake, the unboxing of the standard Glock 17. Um, probably not much I can say that hasn't already been said 10,000 times on a Glock 17 unboxing. But I did want to make a few points here that uh, is worth mentioning. Um, and I brought along the Glock 34 because essentially it's the same frame, but um, the thing I noticed, I won't go into all the specifics of the Glock 17. <clears throat> like I said, this is, Glock 17 is pretty much the same thing as it's always been. Uh, it's the longest running production 9mm probably by Glock or mass produced one. There's a few things I'd like to point out though that I noticed right away because I bought the Glock 34 uh, before I bought the Glock 17. The Glock 34 being, I'm pretty sure it's the same frame, except it's got the longer barrel, but it's the same standard grip. But the frame's pretty much the same frame. Uh, but the first thing I noticed, I figured I'd buy this and it would just be essentially the same as my Glock 34. This is almost my favorite gun. I mean, this thing, everything about this gun is perfect. Uh, I, I have a, uh, I have a piece I did on this, but, uh, but I'm very happy with this gun. So I thought if this was going to be pretty much the same, only in a slightly more compact version with a shorter barrel, everything else being the same, same magazines, uh, capacity, uh, yeah, pretty much everything the same. But when I opened it up, unboxed it, obviously I, this is, I just put that on after, but when I unbox it, the first thing I noticed was that it was really hard to eject the magazine. Um, now, this is stock, the magazine release, and the spring was stock, which was five pounds, a five pound spring. Now, none of my other Glocks I've had an issue releasing, but this one did. So I went ahead and bought a, uh, grabbed a couple of these, uh, the reduced, uh, pressure catch spring. So the standard is five pounds, it's factory, and they sell these two and a half pound versions. Uh, that's a spring, it's just a, a simple rod. Anyway, it takes five minutes to change, maybe longer if you putz around. But once I did that, there was no no issues. It, uh, as you can see, it, uh, um, you know, it's just basically, it's not a big deal. So the thing I wanted to point out though was that it didn't quite feel the same as the 34, even though I changed the spring. The 34 has the stock five pound spring. But I noticed that the 34, and I never realized this, was the 34 comes with the extended button for the mag button, release button. And even with the stiffer spring, it's so much easier to, get, to release this because it's, you know, it's, it protrudes out so much and it's the perfect spot for the, for the, for the bone part of your thumb to, to touch it. Um, as opposed to this, which is flush. And I mean, it, it's releasable, but y you have to really push and this has to be flush like there, like right there where this, it just has to go down just a touch. So even though this has the stiffer spring, it's really easy. So um, I went ahead and make a long story short, I went ahead and ordered the uh, the longer version, the Glock version, not an aftermarket, but the Glock version. And I was gonna put that in here. So that's the one issue I had with the Glock 17. Aside from that, it's pretty much the same thing as the 34. Uh, everything about it is, it's all good. I mean, I don't know how many millions they sold, but it's quite a few. And this is old school. It's, you know, the, the standard. Now, the only other thing I could say that it needs, this is, a, this is a Gen 3, but they all have not the perfect texture. So the first thing I do is I put the talon grip, uh, grip tape. Now the talon grip, I used to get the rubberized version and 
and it's soft and it's you know it's pretty comfortable and it's obviously more grippy for the hard plastic but the last time for this thing I bought the uh, the pro texture which is as you can see a lot more grittier than the rubberized one um, and it uh, it feels really good it's not too much so that's the other thing I recommend getting for this uh, the mag release button but at minimum the spring okay that makes it a whole lot nicer but the change the button to this button would be great and and the slide catch the slide lock is also the better slide lock this has the standard flat one this is a lot easier to use too it's got that little nub there for you know you can catch them on it real easy other than that that's about it um, it's all good um, no surprises Glock 17 Glock 34 same thing and just those are the two things I thought I might share that's it